Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, um, the first Monday of, I guess, um, I'm going to say the beginning of the school year. Start in service today. Um, just, it's, it's surreal to be a teacher now at the school that I went to school at. Um, you know, I went to Keys from pre-K all the way through senior year. Um, and never knew any other school, and still don't. Uh, I mean, I went to college, but I mean, that's, in my mind, that's different than elementary, middle, high school. Um, it's, it's awesome. I am so excited, so ready. Um, ready to get the year going and just get to interact with kids every day and just, show them some love and be an example. Um, that is what I live by. And so I'm just super excited, cannot wait. I have three days of in-service, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Students return on Thursday and just, uh, I'm excited. Um, I really, really am. I love keys. He's made me who I am, um, obviously with the help of a bunch of other people, but Keys is special to me. And so get to get to go and now be employed and be a teacher and get to give back to the school that gave so much to me, uh, it, it's, it's indescribable, really. Um, but anyway, I spent the last day of my summer yesterday actually getting everything, well, all the essentials, um, moved down to the house, um, grab on granddad's old house, Jimmy and Chris's, that I have been, um, I say redoing, really haven't done a ton to it. Um, I, we put down a new kitchen floor, I've painted the dining room, or primered it anyway. Um, but spent my day, because I, I had a goal, you know, whenever I started this process back in February of I'm going to move into this house, and I got the okay from Grandma and Granddad to do that. And whenever I started this process, and a lot of people are going to say, you started this in February, and it's August, and you're just now moving in. Couple things. Big house. Lots of leftover stuff. Um, older house that needed a lot of updating and a lot of cleaning that hadn't been lived in um, in at least six or seven years. Um, and then it just got lived in for a short little time. And then had, I mean, before that it wasn't lived in for a long time. so. Needed a lot of cleaning and a lot of just getting stuff um, livable, I guess. Um, but got that for, I mean, it is good enough that I can move in now. But spent my day yesterday with the help of my parents and a really good friend of mine um, moving stuff from my parents' house down to here and uh it's first night in the new house and it's just it's it's gonna be I, i'm so excited to already to, to be down here finally um and to have my own little space and uh to i guess be a homeowner kind of um and home's not in my name but i'm living here but just I had a goal of before school and I just made it I was like I'm moving this weekend before school starts so that's how I spent the last day of my summer and it uh you know began with church yesterday morning and ended with that so all right so let's dive right in August 9th today's title is forgetting it says I focus on this one thing Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. 
That's Philippians 3, 13 and 14. It says, have you ever got to school and realized that you had forgotten your books or your sports shirt or your water bottle? Forgetting things can be really annoying. So, how great is it to have something about school right here on this day? Um, so, growing up, I lived, and my parents still live, literally right down the road from the school. Like within five minutes at m max. And that's if there's traffic getting out of the driveway, um, pulling out onto the main road. But, so, I did pretty good with remembering stuff um, until high school. And then I'd, for, you know, it seemed like there was so much more you had to remember in high school, you know, sports stuff, um, your books, your homework, your lunch, whatever. Um, I did really good. High school, I, I'm not saying I forgot stuff a lot, but I would tend to forget, you know, like I'd pack a, my athletic bag for athletics and, you know, forget a pair of shorts or something, whatever, I mean, forget a change of, sh forget an extra shirt, whatever. But I was very lucky in the fact that we run our own, our, my granddad started his own business. Dad and my mom basically run um, the boat store part of, boat shop part of it. So very lucky in the fact that really both of my parents, but my mom especially, can just kind of go and come as she needs to. Um, she runs. To, she, she's not, um, she does the paperwork side of stuff, so she's not like running stuff in the store and has to be there to uh, help people and that sort of thing. So she can kind of go as she needs. And so very lucky in that fact that if I forgot something, I could send a text or phone call. Hey mom, I forgot this, can you bring it to me? And more often um, than not, she would pull through for me. Not very often did she not pull through. Um, but it can be annoying, especially if you live further away and you don't have, um, your parents aren't able to do that. Uh, so there's a good kind of forgetting. The Bible says to forget your mistakes from yesterday, last week, or last year. Instead, you should look forward to a wonderful life in Jesus. So it is very easy as humans, uh, pointing fingers right back at myself, to dwell on the past and what has happened in the past because um, I'm right there in that boat. I tend to focus on stuff that's already happened. Um, if I make a mistake or something and I beat myself up about it when I can't go back and change it. Um, so we, the Bible tells us to press on to reach the goal that God has set in front of us, not behind us. The goal that God and the race that God has put before us, not behind us. It says, Lord, thank you for forgiving me of wrong things that I did yesterday. I choose today to forgive myself and to look forward to everything that you have planned for me. So we talked about um, not too long ago about forgiving others and that it can be kind of hard to do that sometimes. Um, so notice that that prayer didn't say forgive others. It said, I choose today to forgive myself. So yes, you should forgive others. I'm not saying don't forgive others because that's obviously super important to forgive others. But forgive yourself as well. Don't let yourself... Don't, don't beat yourself up over stuff that you cannot change now. Look forward to the race that God has set before you and focus on running it to the best of your ability. Everyone go out, have a great Monday, have a great week, and as always, be the example.